Patients in Toowoomba are now able to have elective surgery sooner with the official opening of the Bunya Day surgery. The $42 million investment by the state government will mean an additional 4,000 surgeries each year, taking pressure off an already struggling health system. I am so pleased that this government is investing in the infrastructure we need. We know there is a lot of pressure on our busy hospitals. Wayne Scott was the first patient to have surgery for carpal tunnel. Yeah, the experience was nothing short of fantastic. The uh, staff were just amazing. It was also a major milestone for Darling Downs Health with the sod turn to mark construction of the new $1.3 billion Toowoomba Hospital, which is expected to open in 2027. I am so thrilled that our government is making the investment that Toowoomba and the Darling Downs region needs to keep up with the growth that this wonderful part of Queensland is experiencing. It was also a busy day for the Health Minister. She was a special guest speaker at the Australian College of Midwives State Conference at Birkenwills Hotel. It's fantastic to bring midwives together. Midwives are critical for the health service, critical for improving outcomes for mothers and babies, and to bring them all together in one room, to get that energy and to get that enthusiasm is just wonderful. Ben Meehan, 7 News.